you know, I really want to say if what happened to me could happen to me. It could happen to a lot of people out there, you know, uh, who don't have a, a strong family or a supportive family or an educated family. You know, I mean, I'm just speaking from my own story. I don't want to, I don't, I, I, I can't speak to other people's experiences, but you know, uh, doctors have concocted this, um, I don't know, con job. I don't know. I don't know what language to use to tell people that they need to stay on these medications for life for the rest of their lives. First off, why why would you want someone to stay on medications when you haven't seen a positive change in them? And they're struggling and they keep wondering what's going on. Why do I feel worse? Why this, that, the other thing? If you're on, you know, close to or more than a half a dozen medications and you feel terrible, and someone's trying to talk you into staying on them for the rest of your life, there's a serious problem. And the, the way that this continues is because you are medicated, your mind is medicated, and you can't rationalize your way out of it. You can't, you can't argue, you know, when, when you're on five psychotropic medications, seven, nine, nine medications, you're sitting in an office across from somebody with a medical degree trying to rationalize your way out of that and you're significantly medicated, you don't stand a chance, you know? And then they then they tell you how to be on these medications for life. I knew when I walked out of that office that I was willing to take the risk of losing my life rather to continue on so heavily medicated and um, I, I knew and let me tell you that that scenario that they feed feed people that they were feeding me you need to be you need to, this is exactly what he said you need to be on these medications because they're keeping you alive i mean that's to me is uh diabolical i could see if i you know he put me on a couple of medications and he saw a great good positive change and put me on more medications and saw a greater change. And, you know, I just kept on feeling better and better. I could see somebody being able to justify a statement like that. You're on these medications and they're keeping you alive and you need to be on them for the rest of your life. But what about a person who can barely function because they're so depressed and the brain fog is so severe and their brain is scrambled as if they had ADHD and they can't read and they can't remember anything. And I mean, these stories need to be heard. And the more medications I weaned off, the more disorders disappeared. These stories need to be heard. I'm curious. I, you know, I, I began weaning off the benzodiazepines and uh, Zopiclone three and a half years ago. I'm curious. I, I need to go to my pharmacy and, and try to remember how many years exactly did I wean off of did I become off of all of those other medications and just felt better and better and better and better? 
And wow, talk about a reckoning moment when you begin to realize, you know what? I was duped. These medications made me worse and worse and worse. And then weaning off the benzodiazepines, I was completely off in um, November something, something like November 15th, 2018. I think it was January 1st and I woke up and it was like a new day. It, it was like I had even more clarity. I remember looking out the window. I remember things actually looked different. So it took November, December, a month and a half, maybe two months. And there was, and then the Zopaclone, you know, my memory started getting better and better with both the benzos and off the Zopaclone, off the benzos and the Zopaclone. I have complex PTSD, like many, many people out there, and I have anxiety panic disorder. And the sleep issue is critical. And I had undiagnosed apnea, I think, for decades, and they never looked into it. They wanted to believe I was having difficulty sleeping because of anxiety. And it got worse and worse and worse. The sleep issue, the, the insomnia. Oh my God, the sleepwalking, the, the, what, the disaster they did to me with the Zopaclone, the sleepwalking and sleep eating. My God, my God. Four decades of sleepwalking, sleep eating, my brain being disrupted all night long. Decades, decades of medical torture, psychological torture from that drug. And none of these doctors, like 15 doctors, couldn't figure out why I was sleeping. And it was the Zopaclone the whole time. Do you know how angry I am? And then the benzodiazepine withdrawal and the Zopaclone withdrawal have almost killed me numerous times. With breathing, with damage to my heart and lungs, Breathing, severe apnea started the minute I began that withdrawal. Life-threatening apnea. Neuropathy, motor neuropathy, sensor neuropathy, autonomic neuropathy. I am now disabled since that withdrawal started. I barely have the strength to stand and, and walk at times. The damage done to me from medical. No doctor knew how to help me. And they want, everybody wanted to wash their hands from me. This is a prescribed injury. What happened to me is happening to other people. Iatrogenic illnesses. People wandering out there. All, none of my friends knew I was on these medications. Nearing the end, when I was on all those medications, I was taking a handful of medications four times a day. Morning, noon, supper, and nighttime. And I would look at that handful of medications and just cry at times before putting all that poison in my mouth. I felt trapped. There was nowhere for me to turn. There was no advocacy. There was no one to fight for me. There was no one to help me navigate this huge, dirty, pharmaceutical, doctor-created mess that they got me into, that they talked me into, that they conned me into. These stories need to be heard. Now I'm looking at my uh, losing my house. I've lost everything. I've lost everything. 
from not sleeping, from not getting properly assessed, from not this, from not that, from being misdiagnosed, from being mistreated, from being treated for more than a half a dozen disorders I do not have, from being drugged out of my mind, from being not being able to function at work because I wasn't sleeping. The, all, the decades of sleep walking from Zopaclone, I couldn't work anymore. I was sleepwalking all night, just critically sleep deprived. This is an iatrogenic, bloody nightmare. It is happening to other people. I was drugged out of my life. The horrific ADHD. My brain was gone. This is an iatrogenic disaster. Now I'm going to lose my house. I'm going to lose my house in a week or two. You know what? I'm almost 60 years old. I've owned, I've been a homeowner for almost 30 years. I'm not, I'm not going on the street. I, I, there's got to be some help. I need a massive amount of money. I don't want to go into, I'm not moving into somebody's basement. I'm not, I'm not renting a one bedroom apartment. I've been a homeowner for almost 30 years. My, my finances have been destroyed by doctors. My finances have been destroyed by this healthcare system. And I need help. I need relief. I don't want a hundred different people within this system scrambling to, to find me some pathetic housing. No, I, I, I want, I want help. I want help from this healthcare system should step up to the plate and prevent this disaster from happening. People's literal, literally, people's minds are being stolen and their lives are being destroyed by doctors, by prescribing. You should see all the lies in my medical records. I can't tell you, you know, I can't tell you how grateful I am for this, to be able to leave my videos behind. So so that my family might eventually someday hear the truth. I'm mad as hell and I have every goddamn right to be mad. I've lost my car, I've lost my full-time job, my part-time job, my... I'm losing my house now. I've lost everybody and everything. I can't believe I've made it this far. I've weaned off of 40 years of benzodiazepines, 40 years of Zopaclone, dozens of medications. I got off that ham that dirty pharmaceutical hamster wheel by myself. Nobody in the healthcare system was instrumental in helping me and sticking with me. I'm proud of myself, but you know what? I'm so ill and I'm so physically weak. I am so injured from this last medical injury. The benzodiazepine injury and the zopaclone injury. I've been horrifically injured from an epidural. Brainstem injury, neuropathy from the neck on down. I've been horrifically injured from a sinus surgery. Woke up during, while they were cutting bone out of my face and stopped breathing in the recovery room and they removed all this bone without consent, without telling me what they were doing. I was duped into that surgery and duped into signing the form. And then all of this was covered up and I have empty nose syndrome from that surgery. And that is nonstop suffering. I've been overdosed countless times legitimate overdoses, which I can prove because I have my, I had the wherewithal to go get my pharmacy records 
right before they were going to be destroyed. So there's been plenty of perfect doctors who said, well, no, that's, that can't be true. Yeah. Well, I can prove it. I can prove I was given opioids again and again while on two benzodiazepines, Zopiclone and other respiratory depressants all at the same time. Amitriptyline, phenobarbital, chloral hydrate. But they will make me, me out to be the bad guy. I am thrilled that I am able to tell my story. The trauma, the medical trauma, the PTSD is, I don't even have words for, for the trauma I am living with every day. The trauma is just over the top. I have to come up with a miracle. I need like $37, so $37,000 to not lose my house. I need a miracle. What's happening happened to me in the last 40 years has disabled me. My medical care has has forced me into d disability. And now diagnosed with airless Danlos syndrome, carry malformation, fibromyalgia, yada yada, neuropathy, yada yada yada. It doesn't even matter. What matters is I've lost everything. The only safety I have left is my home. And now I'm losing the only thing I have left. Often, you know, there's a breaking point for people. You, you can lose everything, but still have your husband, or you can lose everything, but you still have your children or lose everything and still have your house or lose everything, but still have your job. When you've lost everything, everything. How do you keep going? Why why would you want to keep going when you've lost everything? This is the last thing I have left. Absolute destruction of a human being. This has been absolute. The medical has absolutely destroyed me. I'm fighting to save my house.